the room. This so sad face. <laughs> Hi. It's, I don't know. Uh, a quarter to six. Um, let's, let's start with some good news, okay? The good news is my class that I always say is very quiet, reluctant, reluctant to participate, more of a struggle to get conversations going. There were kids volunteering today um, and raising their hand. They had the answers correct and that made me happy. So that's good. Um, they All classes finish the memes and when I have a chance to kind of get them all together, I'll post some more on Instagram. So make sure you're following me there if you want to see a few. And then after school, surprising news, found out that we're getting a bonus in my district just for surviving this school year that has pushed us all to our very limits. Um, so that is super exciting. I'm very thankful. It's not anything I was expecting. It wasn't even on my radar. I know other districts in the area had gotten some, but I, we really hadn't heard anything about it. So that's been great. Um, very briefly with teaching in general, I, I don't know. I, I think I'll finish up the lesson we started today, which was on the Dred Scott case. And honestly, I think that is as far as we're going to get on the road to the Civil War. Um, I'm sad that we didn't get into the actual Civil War itself, but I feel really good and really solid about using these lessons next year because I am confident that the kids really have a firm understanding of all the things that led up to the country actually going to war with itself. Um, they understand, like if I ask them like questions about the different compromises that we've talked about, they know that. If I ask them what popular sovereignty is, they understand the concept of that. When I ask them is, was the Civil War about states' rights or was it about slavery? They know that it was about the states' rights to slavery. Um, and so I feel really good. I feel like it, it's taken a while to kind of get all that foundation laid, um, but I'm very thankful that I did. And I felt like feel like if we were to actually start studying the Civil War, they would have a very concrete understanding of what this war, why this war even came to be. So that's good. Um, but honestly, I just like, I, right now there's some classes I'm just enjoying their company and we're just talking. There's one class we spent a good solid 30 to 40 minutes talking about different cheeseburgers, street tacos, what makes a street taco, what isn't a street taco, is in and out the best hamburger place in Southern California and just having fun, which I'm fine with because it's been a year and I haven't had a lot of time with these kids. And then I had to rush home because I just finished attending an info session on being like a human rights trainer for CTA. It's something I would have to apply for. I'm very intrigued by the position because it's right up my alley of what I'm really interested in in terms of education. But it's just a question of time. Like, do I have time to do it? And it sounds flexible in that I can do as much or as little in terms of doing it as I want. But I want to just kind of clarify some things so that I can make a accurate, um, accurate decision. So um, there's that. And as far as what I'm going to do right now, I think I'm going to take my brother. <laughs> he just looks so sad in his face on a W-A-L-K. Um, I'm supposed to cook a ramen meal from Blue Apron, which I always get excited about. But I also have a free meal that I've earned at Chipotle. And I kind of want to buy Taboo from Target because when I asked the kids today, I think I vlogged this morning before I get into that, in the car, and my iPad just keeps telling me it's out of storage and so it cut off abruptly. But I think this morning I was able to say that I was gonna ask my classes like how they wanted to spend the rest of their couple of days in middle school. Like what, we can't have like a traditional party where kids are bringing things and we're sharing food and all that. We have to try and be like conscientious of staying distant from each other and sharing materials. And they didn't really have any concrete ideas. One class talked about just doing like fun games, like just some old school games like Pictionary, Four Corners and stuff like that. Um, and then we also talked, I think I talked about Taboo because that was like a game I could think of that you could play in teams, but there's not really anything that the team has to touch or interact with. So I don't know, but I do know that I really do feel like my brain is mush. Like the simplest task 
just require like I have to really concentrate and they feel so hard and I think I'm just so tired um, and so there's a couple things I need to do to make sure I understand what I need what my responsibilities are for promotion I think a couple emails have to be sent out I kind of need to make sure that I know how I'm keeping the kids occupied for the next couple of days um, I think it's just that feeling of being like so close yet feeling so far away so I don't really have anything else to share like I feel like this vlog is gonna be really short um, but yeah I might I'm not gonna close it out here because I don't know maybe I'll take you on a walk with me or maybe I'll cook I don't really know what I, basically I don't know what I'm doing with my life right now um, I definitely want to share the highlights which was that one class participating more um, share the bonus um, and all of that but I don't know just I'm not sure what where the rest of the day is gonna take us so I'm just gonna say bye for right now right behind Just got back from my walk with Riley. I don't know if you'll see it because I might edit it out, but I was really just mumbling and saying nonsensical things at the end of the last clip I just recorded because my brain just felt like it was all over the place and I didn't know what I wanted to say and what I wanted to share. Um, and I felt bad because the vlog was gonna be short because I really didn't know what to talk about. So I just decided I'm gonna take you on <laughs> the second half of my day when I come home because I don't feel like I go through this process frequently on the vlog so I'm getting ready to iron my clothes for tomorrow I picked out what I'm going to wear I'm going to wear these linen blend pants from Old Navy um, these are full length so I know I shared a pair of black ones on Instagram not too long ago and they were more like I guess the term is kulak or gaucho pants like they were short and I'm gonna wear it with this white shirt and I believe that my plan is it in here I'm gonna wear it with this jean jacket right here that is from oh it's gonna be it's going to be almost old navy head to toe tomorrow the jackets from old navy the t-shirts from old navy the pants are from old navy and I'm either going to wear my white Birkenstocks, which are in this box here, that I need to, I feel like I need to wipe these, or I am going to wear my white bands. I haven't decided. It's gonna be one of those things where I'm not really gonna decide until I um, put them on tomorrow and see how it looks. So I am going to get the ironing board out because the t-shirt needs to be ironed. And normally what I do once I've picked it, I will get the iron out if it needs to be ironed. And then while the iron is heating up, I will pull out like my accessories, my watch band, um, the earrings I'm gonna wear, the glasses I'm gonna wear and make sure to clean them so I don't have to clean them in the morning and my earrings. So I'm gonna do all that right now. I'm probably just gonna time lapse it Maybe not. I'm just gonna let me set up the ironing board right now. Like clearly you can see I, I can't communicate effectively today. So I'm gonna set up the ironing board and we'll go from there. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm not gonna time lapse this part because this is probably what you want to see. Um, is me picking out my accessories. So the ironing board or the iron is warming up. So I'm gonna pull my earrings container out of this little area I don't know if you can see it but they're in there and there's three containers one has gold based earrings one has silver based earrings one has like black based earrings and then I have this other container is it here or is it here it's up here sorry and this has like nicer pieces of jewelry I'm not gonna wear any of these tomorrow I have an idea as to what earrings I want to wear and I believe I need this big one so I'm gonna put this down so I can put this back 
And then I always take it to the bathroom where the lighting is better. So, I'll put you here on the Kleenex holder. And this, uh, I've been asked about this before. I know I've talked about it on Instagram, but this is technically a bead container. And I think I got this one from like Joann's or something, but I don't know if you go on Amazon and type in bead container, you'll get something similar. So I'm going to wear these earrings tomorrow, I think. And guess where these earrings are from? Old Navy. So I'm gonna wear probably these earrings tomorrow. Sometimes if I'm not 100% sure, cause I've never worn the earrings or worn the outfit before, I'll lay it um, with the outfit to see if it matches. And when I look at this, I mean, I feel good about it. So I'm gonna wear those, which means I'm going to put them on the dresser here. Um, I don't know if I want to wear a necklace. I think that I will. So I need to get that out and I'll put you up a little bit higher. So I don't need this anymore. And since I'm going to need a necklace, I actually do need this container that has nicer jewelry in it because I need to put this ring away that I wore today. And I think I'm gonna wear an Anna Luisa necklace, not this one. This is the one that I wore yesterday. I do keep the Anna Luisa pieces in the pouches that they come with because I don't want them to get tangled. So, I think I wanna wear, What do I, I think I'm gonna wear this one. There's something, it's missing. Oh, I know where it is, hold on a second. I have not moved these necklaces into this container. So, I think I'm gonna wear this necklace. It looks like this. All right. So I'm gonna pull that out. I'm gonna leave the pouch that it comes in out. And while I'm here, I'm gonna take these other pouches and I'm going to add them to this container. So far, every piece of Anna Luisa jewelry that I've bought has been gold. They do sell silver items. Someone was asking about that or mentioned that they like silver on Instagram and they do sell silver pieces I just always seem to be drawn to their gold pieces the most, so that's what I've been ordering. So I'm gonna wear that necklace. And I'm going to wear my clear frames. And do I wanna wear a ring? I think I do. I'm gonna wear this ring. That is also from Ana Luisa. I'm gonna take the glasses that I wore today, which were these, newer ones from Warby Parker, I'm going to put them back in the organizer that was part of my birthday present from my family. And tomorrow I'm gonna wear my clear frame, so I'm gonna take those out. These black frames that I'm wearing right now, these are my ride or die, they don't go in the case. These are just the glasses that I put on by default. Um, so they just are always out, but I always clean my glasses the night before because in the mornings, I literally don't want to be bothered with, you guys are on the paper towels, with any sort of task, anything that's gonna slow me down. So I always do this ahead of time so that I know that when I put my glasses on, they're gonna be clean and I don't have to worry about that. And I take my glasses, and any accessory that I decide that I'm going to wear the next day and I lay it out on my dresser. So I'm gonna put this next to the earrings and there's a part of me that feels like I might change my earrings because these are two different tones of gold and that is really rubbing me the wrong way right now. See this, like that's a totally different tone. So just, in case, I'll probably pull out some different earrings that match this gold tone better. 
so I always have these things here in the mornings when I'm these are the last things that I'll put on and I know it's just always right here and then the other thing I would do is I would switch out my Apple watch but I don't need to do that because I'm going to wear the same one tomorrow which is just this white one this is the one that my watch came with and since I'm not 100% sure which shoes I'm going to wear I'm not going to pull the boxes down because I can see where the white Birkenstocks are and my white bands are on the floor next to those and so I just don't want to have two boxes out so I'm going to leave those but I am going to put the box of shoes that I wore today away and I don't always do this sometimes I get so tired and overwhelmed that sometimes by the end of the week I just have a lot of stuff out on the floor what is considered a lot to me so I don't always get this done and then that's it so the stuff that I'm going to wear in terms of accessories is pulled out um, ready to go and now I'm just going to iron the actual clothes themselves and I'll be set to go for tomorrow I do also I do this later but I'll do it now since I'm over here okay, this is turning into an evening routine pull out my workout clothes that I'm going to put on because when I wake up at freaking 4.30 in the morning, I'm in a bad mood <laughs> because it's 4.30 in the morning and I don't want to look for anything. I just want to just be upset and just grab for the clothes I need to wear. I don't want to have to think. I don't want to have to look for a sports bra. So I'll take those out and I'll set them right there so that they're ready to go. Time to iron. out I just finished ironing it all my accessories are out I'm probably like I said gonna pull out another pair of earrings just in case I put all that on tomorrow and I'm really agitated <laughs> by the earrings not matching the necklace and all of that so I'll have both things out um, and then not sure again if I'm gonna wear the Birkenstocks or the Vans and the jean jacket is already kind of in plain sight so I don't need to move that so um, now I'm just getting ready to put the ironing board away and I'm going to log on to a virtual graduation ceremony for a student that I had in fifth grade who is now graduating high school and I currently have her sister in my eighth grade class. So I've known them for a while. So I'm gonna check that out to support her and then I'm gonna order Chipotle. I'm gonna order Chipotle and get that going and edit this vlog and then probably just sit on the couch and watch some garbage TV. So if you enjoyed today's vlog, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do that. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you head over there. And as always, I hope that you guys are well. If you're not well, please be well. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.